Hey guys, it's Cass and welcome to what may be my final video of 2022 and I don't know if I've actually done this the last couple of years but I feel like I have, sorry that is so bright, and if I haven't I think it's one I would like to keep going because I've always been on the fence um, about New Year's resolutions, just like everybody says they're gonna do something, yada yada yada, like we're all so great, you don't need a brand. I have no clue what my neighbor is doing. <laughs> Nothing starts over on a day, you should have an opportunity every day to like change something about yourself if it's really that important to you. Um, you should kind of have like any time, basically this piece of my bang, you should have any time, you should have any time to do that. You should need to only be able to start over on January 1st of every year. So I wrote at the very back of my journal, which if you're not new here, um, I've consistently talked about the fact that I journal all the time. Um, anyway, this one is for, just kidding, 20, is it the right way? No, it was this way, 2022. Um, I've done this since 2018, if I am correct. So I think I started it at the end of 2018, so I didn't get that far into it, but I did 2019, 2020, 2021, maybe it's 2019 I started. 2019, 2020, 2021, this is 2022. Um, and if you can tell based uh, here at the very back, you could see I only have about maybe 10 pages left out of this whole journal. Um, but I wanted to flip backwards really quick to talk over some of my, I don't want to show you anything on this side, but I wrote out some of basically my only New Year's resolutions. Um, so we'll run through those really quick. I said, for one, I want to finally indulge in a full-blown monthly craft because I want to work towards a slow motion film. So one of my ultimate dreams, um, I have a few, but one of my ult one of them, <laughs> one of my ultimate dreams is I've always wanted to create like a, f maybe not full length, but in general, a stop motion film. Um, and I kind of stopped doing like craft related things to help me get closer to that for a while. Like I do it very sporadically. I'm not consistent with anything at all, but here and there I'll do things, figuring out if I want to do it like in paper craft form, clay form, like what I want to do. But one of my big intentions for next year, I wouldn't call it a resolution. I want it to be like an achievable goal is kind of like where my mind's at. Um, one of those is to do more crafts to work towards that and even like dip my toes back into animation related things. I have a degree in graphic design with a minor in photography um, and my, my actual business is videography and video editing. Um, and I do that for like clientele work, but I also edit things for a few YouTubers now. So I just, it's just a lot, but, um, uh, getting back into the crafty stuff, like I, for a long time learned to make stamps and for a long time, like carving them. And I have everything, including all like the speed ball, everything to do that. Just haven't done it since. I think the last time I carved any kind of stamp were all the stamps that I carved for um, Inktober related stuff like two years ago and that's on my channel so maybe I'll link one of those up here or something from a long time ago and that's the last time I made stamps um, and then I have an obsession with film photography and I have since I did it with a friend when we were in middle school and our art teacher let two of us take the school's um, film photo like um, film film photography film <laughs> film camera 35 millimeter I think it was like a Pentax um, and that like ignited a whole love for me and I actually have my dad's 
um, that I do need to get fixed up a bit since he's passed and I ordered an AE1 online, which I won a while ago now, like almost two weeks ago, a week and a half ago in an auction, but I've been charged for it. So I checked into that, but I haven't heard back from the person. Anyway, where I feel the most connected to myself in the world is when I am being creative. Um, I.e., <laughs> let me put this down literally stopped working on this blanket right here that i'm crocheting um you know i mean it's it's a long one it's i'm almost done with it but i paused working on this to come on here to just film this really quick i actually have an order from a friend to make another blanket um, I made one for her daughter when her daughter was born and her daughter loves it. So she asked that I make one for their son. His first birthday is not till August, but I told her I would get it done closer now, starting in January so he could have it through like the winter season and moving forward. Anyway, next one. Relax about reading. <laughs> Monthly challenge books with months and titles. Um, so relax about reading. I powered through this. Okay, let me just finish my sentence. I powered through to read, if we pull this up, maybe I'll throw a screenshot of my Goodreads because currently right now I have read 60. My, my reading challenge goal was originally to read, uh, like last year I did 48 books, so I think my goal was 52. I think it started out at 48, then I was like 52, that's one a week, and then I like raised it once I hit that to 55, and then I hit that, and so I raised it to 60, and I had it at 60, and that's kind of where I ended up finishing the year. Um, yeah, speaking of, there are three books here. There are like three back here. You can see the corner of one right here on the edge that I literally, and I'll maybe make this in my December update, I haven't read shit this month. I haven't picked up a single book, period. Not at all. I finished, um, it's sitting right here. I finished 1984 before the month even started because I talked about that in my like November wrap up. I have not picked up one of these books once. All I've done is order books. <laughs> through thrift books, which when I said read my like reading challenge to do with the books that have the month's title in it, you will see that uh, video coming like first thing in January is like my big goal. Um, and I'm really excited for that. So I think my goal next year is going to drop significantly. I'm thinking closer to 24 books. Um, but that's just because I want to take my time and I want to not be afraid of DNFing stuff because I probably would have DNFed, um, if you're unfamiliar, that did not finish. Um, if I didn't push myself so hard to try to reach the reading goal, I would have probably DNFed almost a half of them. Maybe that's a bit extreme, like a third of them. Um, and I didn't allow myself to do that. Um, I don't even think... And I, I can correct myself here in editing if I'm wrong. I think I only DNF'd one book this year. Um, and it was almost It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover because that book is fucking awful. But I can't remember the title of it. So maybe editing me will be smarter about it. But yeah, take reading easier and get back to like enjoying reading. Not that I didn't enjoy it this year. I just cared more about hitting the challenge and pushing through and I distracted myself a lot more with reading versus like craft related stuff but I realize it's kind of extremely difficult for me to focus on kind of more than one or two things at a time My like attention span can't handle that so like I'll go through spells of I'm gonna do nothing but game for an entire two weeks straight and then I can't do that anymore and then I'm gonna do nothing but read every day all the time on lunch breaks when I'm eating 
when I'm waking up, before I go to bed, when I'm in bed, like the second I sit down, I'm reading, I go through a pattern of that for a couple of weeks. And then the last week and a half, I've done nothing but make ornaments, which I'll I card the video here and then work on this blanket, which this blanket is about five feet tall now. So I'm almost done with it. But uh, anyway, back to my list. No low spend because buying a house and moving. Um, I had briefly mentioned on here something about traveling and I'm not really gonna deep dive into that because I don't think that's what we'll be doing, but I've done no spend years, months, and challenges in the past, which I card, I'll throw one up there. Um, but I think that will be a huge goal for me and I think us just in general moving into 2023 because I want to buy a house and when I say I want to buy a house like because we have this house now we live in a condo in Denver Colorado and I mean it's a three bedroom I don't know I anyway the square footage of this place and the area of town for how much we spend, for how much they are worth now, is not at all worth the price. And I am fucking tired of moving and I do not like gray walls and I'm not interested in a gray and or white aesthetic for anything, but we continue to move so often that I'm just, I haven't invested into my home space more than like I'm gonna tilt you back a little bit more than putting <laughs> I haven't invested into a home space more than doing kind of what I just tilted back and showed you like we hung some stuff up and called it a damn day and that was three years ago now I haven't painted a single thing in this house and that's just not me I don't care for the color tones in here I don't care if you hear something I'm just I continue pulling on this, I'm sorry. Um, I just, I haven't made a house a home or made it my own or changed anything in any of the last several places I've really lived at because I just knew I wasn't going to stay there and I haven't been invested and I've always just been waiting to get, not that I've owned every house that I've lived in, that's dramatic, but like, I just want to find the actual house that I want to stay in basically for the rest of my life if I can. So that's the goal in 2023. We are already scoping stuff out. We already have plans to travel somewhere to find more like the specific area and then start working with a realtor. Um, and I'm just ready to move into a house that I stay in and that I can invest in and I can do projects in because I would love to do a whole like fix up my house series because I am a sucker for bungalow and or Victorian and or colonial just historical home features if I could find a home with some of those original woodwork features like be still my fucking heart that is my dream and i don't want it to be a 900 square foot for three hundred thousand dollar home in fucking denver so that's not the goal um i cannot wait to leave but biding my time that's a big goal um another one i wrote was make more meaningful content that i am proud of something about content is because i have changed my content so much on my channel uh, for the last year and a half, I've consistently lost subscribers, and that is not a concern to me. Um, I don't make a ton of money from YouTube. This is not my job at all. Um, but I would just like to find a way to find more of a community with people that vibe on the same like wavelengths as I do, with similar things as I do. Um, and I don't feel like I really have that cultivated and I don't really think anyone gives a shit about any content that I make to be completely honest and that's fine because I'm doing it for me. Um, and so I want to continue to make things or do things that I feel proud of. So that's like artistic content and stuff like that. I do absolutely love gaming, but I think in the new year, 
that might switch up to um, maybe only gaming on a live stream because I just don't thoroughly enjoy editing any of that content. Um, when my own business and everything is editing videos, sometimes I get a little worn out on some of the mundane, simpler tasks, if that makes sense. So that's kind of something I'm going back and forth with about 2023 is doing like live stream gaming related stuff only, which I think would be fun. I feel like that would give me more of that sense of community um possibly if anyone even tunes into it um but yeah i just want to take my time creating more content that i really appreciate the next one is settle and level up my business i need to i canceled my website so i need to rebuild that i need to stay in the same location and advertise that way and actually take on different clientele related things um those were like big personal business goals. I would like to double the income that I make from my business so much so that I don't need a second job because right now my second job makes more money for me than my business does. And then underneath that is like YouTube, which is like next to nothing for the entire year. Um, I just would like to pour more of my energy and my efforts into my business and how fulfilling that is to me. Um, but I can't do that <laughs> and I can't get those gears turning and started and plant those roots and seeds and all whatever metaphors you'd like to use there. I can't do that until I know the area we're going to settle, until I know where we are buying a house because it's so dependent on local clientele for my job or my business, um, that advertising about it right now, I do it from time to time, it's brought me some success, but I'm kind of like heavily relying on clientele from the past and word of mouth that is getting me kind of a whole lot of business. So I have big plans and would like to just settle and get that shit figured out because I struggle a lot. Honestly, I'm sorry if you hear my son who just has the best knees in the world, the strongest knees in the world to constantly fall on them in his room. <laughs> if I did that, I'd break my leg probably. Um, yeah, I just feel like, I don't know what I was gonna say. Gotta love them, TBI, short-term memory loss, brain problems, right? Um, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, indulge, <laughs> moving on. We're just gonna move on because I can't remember what I was saying. Um, next one is indulge in filming more things again. I think this kind of got reignited in me in October. Sure, I had more stuff to do because honestly, 99.9% .9 of the time, if I'm not at work, I'm here. Like, I don't go out. I don't spend money a whole lot. I don't go like on adventures. I have quite a bit of social anxiety for the dumbest fucking reasons because when I show up somewhere and I'm with people I know, I have the best time. But it's just like the anticipation of doing that makes me always want to back out and I have very strong commitment issues with a lot of things. <laughs> Libra, am I right? But um, I just have a hard time and I thoroughly hate driving and I hate being in the car and that's because of the accidents that I've been in, especially this last one. Um, but yeah, I just want to slow the fuck down <laughs> and appreciate my life more, even if they're things, again, that nobody cares about and nobody watches. I will still be ma making content and or vlogging to just keep track of things that happen in my life, which is why I love the monthly wrap up so much. Um, because I write down things in my notes on my phone or have video clips of stuff that honestly, if I didn't mention here, I may forget entirely. I mentioned pretty much everything in here, but I don't go back and read this. Um, so yeah, I just want to like fall in love with like slowing down and just getting a more artistic touch and capturing my life in a more artistic way more consistently. Um, I guess that's the best way to say that. Next is continue to fill another journal with writing, which like I said is this. I saw this color, which I don't think it has a name. I don't think that they have color names. Um, 
I, this is a moleskin. Um, I am obsessed with moleskins. They are pretty much what I've used for my journals minus last year's since I started. Um, and so I bought this, like, it's like a periwinkle to be honest, which a pastel is definitely not my color, nor is a pinky purple. Like this is probably picking, this looks like it's picking up more purpley on the camera, but in person I say it tone, its tone is a lot more pink. Um, never in my life would I use, wear, or appreciate this color, but when I saw this, I was like, that's 2023. I didn't even look at anything else. I was like, that's 2023's color for me. So here is my moleskin that I will be starting. Um, I'm a sucker for the hard bound ones, just cause that feels more comfortable for me. This one's a soft bound one, um, but this was gifted, gifted to me by my sister-in-law um, last year. So of course I'm gonna use it cause I love these journals. But yes, continue to write, continue to journal. Um, it has added so much value to my life and it's something that I think I kind of picked up from my grandma who continuously writes in her journal for as long as I've known her to. Um, and I just think it's a great way to like, again, if nobody reads it, it's for me. It feels good for me. It will capture years of my life and memories that way if my kid ever does read it or someone else knows who I am and reads it like after I die, hopefully when I'm like in my 80s because I want to live a long life. Um, there will just be memories in here of just good things. And if nothing else, this is a very therapeutic cathartic process for me to literally come in here and like going fast, but to come in here and write out stuff as it's happening to process, to get it out. Cause I used to do that here and I kind of stopped making that kind of content here where I'd sit down and just shit talk about my own life. Not people specifically, but my own life and just things I was struggling with. I stopped that a while ago. Um, yeah, it just, I need to get it out. Um, my last one that I can really think of that I wrote in here was actually get a sketchbook and be journaling and drawing in that. So when I said journaling and drawing in it, um, I'm gonna mention Fran. Um, um, I'll try to link her down below if I don't, just look up Fran. She's a wonderful illustrator. She does graphic novel stuff. But in her journal or her journaling for the day is like she keeps track of what happens during her day, but she like draws it out, which I just think is so interesting and cool to be honest. Um, I just want to, I, how do I word this in a good way? I have attempted to, I keep scratching my chest, so if you see a bunch of lines on there, sorry. <laughs> um, for the last several years, in fact, I have been like, I'm gonna fill a sketchbook. I need to fill a sketchbook. I have that sketchbook, I pick it up. I think the sketchbook that I have downstairs started like four years ago and I'll doodle a couple of pages in there and then I don't touch it again for the whole year. So I've used that one consistently for the last several years, but I intimidate myself because I don't think in general I'm a good drawer, like at all. Um, and I intimidate myself to be like, fuck, I gotta fill this whole damn thing. And then I get stressed out. But I think maybe could it possibly, I'm hopeful <laughs> that it would change my relationship with a sketchbook if I kind of did it the way that Fran Mensis does. Um, where she like, I already have my journals, my journal next year that I'll be writing in, but can I doodle throughout my day, like things that I see if I take that to work instead of playing a fucking game on my phone or talking to people, is there something I can draw? Especially working with plants and flowers, moving into like the spring and summer season, um, possibly before we move, is like, I don't think anyone would have an issue if I pull one of those plants into the break room and just sit there and take my time and draw it during my lunch um, or during my break. Uh, and so I could doodle through my day um, just to capture kind of my day and my more moment to moment like memories better, I think is my last goal. But a big thing for me was to make my goals achievable and not that outlandish and 
yeah, so I feel really good with those. Um, I'll be trying to check out a few people's goals, especially like booktuber people that I love to watch. But I think that's it. So 2022 was a year. <laughs> I've talked about it consistently on here. It started so fucking awful for me. Um, and then it has grown into something that I never thought would come to pass without, I mean, of course I'm gonna be vague here. I lost two people in my life that I didn't think I would lose, specifically one, which I guess then counteracted to me losing two more, which then I guess rolled over to me losing a fourth. But one specifically I never thought I would lose, including one person attached to that person. I'm just being vague, because I have to be. Um, never, ever did I think that would happen. Um, and I struggled the whole first six months of this year very hard. Probably seven, almost eight months of this year. Very, very difficult for me to deal with. And then I had people come into my life that I never thought I would let into my life and it didn't turn out to be a bad thing, which is awesome. Um, and then the end of this year is ending in a different way, again, than I thought it would. It's not bad, it's not the best, but it's not bad but I'm learning a lot about myself right now. Um, and so I find that kind of fascinating as well. And this is gonna need what I'm talking about specifically right now about learning about myself. I think it's gonna take a couple months to deal with and figure out and it's a different layer of everything. Um, and again, very vague, but it's something that I'm dealing with and it's not bad. It's interesting and I think it's kind of funny, but that's it, 2022. I wanted to say fuck you, but that's stupid. It's not that at all. I think it was a great epic year for growth and I feel so great with the people that I have in my life and I feel blessed and happy and I'm excited to just get into 2023 and work on these goals, but just slow down and live my life. Um, but hopefully you babes had a good 2023. I'll see you, 2022, I'll see you in 2023 with a book haul right away and then more stuff to come. So be well babes, happy new year, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.